Peace and blessings. Welcome to Rita B. Creative. In today's video, we will share how to remove your baseboards without damage to your drywall and without damage to the actual baseboard using a trim puller tool. So let's get started as we continue laying flooring as part of our walk-in closet series. This video is not sponsored. Check the description box below for more information as well as affiliate links. Using a utility knife with sharp blade, carefully and thoroughly score the baseboard, cutting deep down to cut the caulk seal between the wall and baseboard. Don't forget the sides and corners. Place a paint scraper at the score line and using a hammer or rubber mallet, carefully tap the scraper to open and create a wedge between the wall and baseboard. Insert the trim puller and hammer down. Repeat this process along the wall until the baseboard is free. Use the paint scraper and corners as needed. As you can see, we achieved great results using the trim puller. No damage was made on the drywall above the paint line, which is key. No worries if minor damage occur below the paint line. It will be covered once the new trim is installed. If you decide to reinstall the baseboards as we plan to do, remove all nails as well as any left protruding from the wall. Mark the wall and corresponding baseboard to match up during your reinstall. This is the second baseboard removed from the closet. Therefore, we label both C2. It's also best to remove as much of the old caulk as possible from both the wall and baseboard and let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands upon us yea the work of our hands establish thou it Psalm 90 17 stay tuned as we share tips on how to successfully reinstall your baseboards. And if you miss any of the previous related flooring videos, see the i-card or thumbnail link at the end of this video. We trust this video has been helpful and informative. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, Stay safe and be blessed.